Hello and welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? So today I'm going to do a different spread. So this is actually MJ's daily spread from uh, Soulful Revolution. And I'm going to try this out today. So this is basically going to be a, a potential love relationship. So what are the energies around this particular relationship that I have? Okay, this could be... This could be a love relationship. This is also could be career. So, yeah, it really could fall into any aspect. Just because this is a general reading, um, we'll see what happens here. So this is about you. This is about them, and this is about the relationship all together. Okay. I invite our angels for our greatest good, the greatest good of the collective. Please guide us on our path and journey. Anything that might help us get to what we are seeking. That may be a clear, open channel for your guidance for the greatest good. Thank you, angels, for being here and always protecting us and loving us. Okay. What are the energies around this particular relationship that I have? This is for the collective. Hmm. It's upside down. Typically, I don't read them in reverse, but that one wants to be upside down, so we're gonna just leave it the way it is. And then, so your underneath card, and this is the overarching energy. Wow, that's pretty. Okay. So this is what's hidden. All right, and this is going to be our timing. All right, so the first three here are you. All right, you're kind of just minding your own business, playing your music. You're in your own, you're in your own mind here. You just have pure freedom. These butterflies and these roses. You're not even worried about the thorns. You're just enjoying the sweet smell of the roses and the nectar. You're flying, you got these wings here, these eagle wings. Your mind is free. As soon as you open up your mind, this love can come in. It's the four of wands, 11, 11, twin flame energy, right? Waiting for your twin. Okay, and you have to free your mind. Just relax, can't be out there searching for it, right? As soon as you stop looking for love, that's when it comes in. Okay, maybe you went on a little trip. 
And on your way back, you met someone. Oh, it's interesting. You've got the bubbles here and the bubbles here. You get two here, one here. Maybe it's like the the aura of your soul, right? That you're just one person here, and then you've got the two souls here that are coming together. And your person, we have another bubble here. This is the other person. Maybe there's an offer here as well. So with your other person, they have a lot of courage. They're a king. They have a lot of power. They take action, they have, they're in control. You know, they're quick thinking. The unknown card. Okay, this other person is you know, a king and a queen here. Maybe some sort of sorceress. Good. Find feminine. It's going to help you see the way. You're lighting this light, this gleam. There's a gleam here, too. They're lighting the light for you. You, know, you had to light your own candles here. But you have passion and fire that they're lighting the light. For you here with a reflection. <laughs> There's another one here, see? And this is like the ultimate bubble here. You each have your own bubble that you can bring your bubbles together. I am your future, right? Somebody very powerful here. You know, very magical. It's free. It's interesting. We got the butterflies flying here. together we still have the butterflies this is your relationship together you know butterflies in your stomach right taking a leap of faith you just met this person you don't know what the future holds You're taking that leap And this is the magician, which is magical. This is, you know, very magical as well. But they're upside down. This reminds me of vampires, you know, hanging upside down. Oh, what's that movie? The vampire movie uh, from back in the 80s when they were Santa, Cla Santa Clarita Boardwalk. Lost Boys? Oh, yeah, it's the Lost Boys. You know, maybe be careful of some illusions. Something that you're not seeing, because this is the unknown card. Or something about this person. They're very powerful, but... You're not seeing something. So 
you need to go within. This is Virgo energy here. The Fool, um, which is actually a, my husband's card. This is his card, and he's a Virgo, so there's double Virgo with me here. Um, let's see, what is the Fool exactly? Is there something on there right now? Fool, there we go. Aquarius. This is actually Aquarius. Aquarius and Virgo. The Magician is also Virgo and Gemini. Mercury. Uh, something about, you know, Mercury moves. You know, as soon as it's let out of its container, it just flows and it goes to the next crevice really quick and it beads off Let's see the hermit here where is the hermit so that's mercury yeah. okay Yes, you need to go within. Uh, follow your intuition when it comes to this person because there's definitely something weird going on that you don't know about. They have this great offering of love and freedom. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You, angels, please tell us more about what is this unknown mystery and of illusion and magic that needs to be illuminated in order to take this leap of faith to still maintain this freedom. The Justice card. All right. It needs to be balance. You know, you're hanging upside down. You need to have some balance. You know, there's a lot of balancing here. You're on the edge of the cliff. something that's making you feel like you need to contemplate something, look at something uh, in a new perspective, look at both sides of the story. What is this person hiding? Alright, so they are hiding their love, their emotions. You know, they're hiding their light. It looks like they're blocking the light here. They need to shine the light. Tell me more about this. Hmm. Something about being robbed mischievous right there's a lot of mischievous things happening here why is it so mischievous oh these 
Those are like so all over the place, right? You need to go within to something that they're hiding from themselves. They're robbing themselves of, right? They're keeping their love away. They're not pouring out their emotions. Right, you need to go within, see things from another perspective. Right? Maybe they're projecting their heart so they can't open it up to you. Opening it up, they're robbing you of that. Because they can't get out of their own head. And so, you know, they're contemplating something for sure. Definitely contemplating, trying to see what the future holds, looking to the horizon. But it looks like they're going to come out of it. Right? So he's actually, it looks like he's got a bunch of these roses here with him. Oh, he's on a unicorn. So he's very, it's going to be he or she. Um, it's like somebody who's very romantic, right? They're going to offer you something. Maybe this is an engagement. They want to ask you to marry them. This is the 1111 Twin Flame. They're coming towards you. They've made this decision to have a future with you. Are taking this leap of faith and opening up their heart. What is this Seven of Swords? Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Death and Rebirth. They need to kill off a part of themselves in order to get to this, this new light, right? This light again that they're shining. But for some reason, they're blocking it. Why is this other person blocking the light? about wisdom and things coming to fruition and being harvested right maybe he's harvesting it's to face the dark it's to face the dark Bring this abundance and freedom. This is the offering. This is what we're going to offer here. is over you are enlightened 
you have transformed, you have all these butterflies throughout, totally transformation, right? He's contemplating, contemplation, How, what are they gonna offer for you for the future? He was worried about it. She, he or she is worried about it. This is old limiting beliefs, but they're strong. They just need to have the courage to ask, to move forward, to make the decision, to offer this abundance to you. This is definitely a, a twin flame rating. This is something that you're in alignment with. This is magical. It's going to bring you lots of abundance and freedom. This is a rebirth of balance. Taking a leap of faith. Making the decision. Okay. What actions can we take now? What actions can we take right now to get to this outcome? Death here, this is Scorpio. Scorpio energy, let's see, justice. Did we look that up already? Mm -mm. I do not see it on there. What actions can we take right now? Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Overcome the challenges. Get the advice. Right, you're wise. You'll make the right decision. Just put one foot in front of the other. Confidence. Mm -hmm. Look to the stars. This is about manifesting it. Okay, making the plan to move forward. Right, it's almost like this is the back of you here. You're moving towards this cups. You're moving towards enlightenment. Opening up your heart, pouring out your emotions to this person. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, again, to bring you this abundance. All right, that's holy confirmation right there. The fruit of your labors. Looking pretty. Messages coming in, abundance, harvesting. Springtime, spring is in the air, love is in the air. All right, it's beautiful. When flame is coming, they're going to ask you to marry them. Or this, you know, this could even pertain to a career, maybe a love of, you know, music that you have. 
all right and somebody's going to offer you something that's going to bring you lots of abundance loneliness when you stop fearing your aloneness you stop settling for less than you deserve may it, i embrace and love my solitude and that's when kindred spirits can finally come right stop fearing his aloneness and to come towards you you're stopping you're not settling for less right not gonna settle for less creative blocks if you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions that blocks and restrictions may this serve all who need. creative getting rid of the blocks the mind blocks to bring in love to bring in this this work all work to the divine if you're an artist you know you're creating something with heart with love all right you're, you're contemplating how you're going to ask this person to marry you. All right, we're gonna make it creative. Get creative with it. How are you gonna ask? How are you gonna ask? Empowerment. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love and wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. All right? Empowerment. So that you can move forward. Ask the, di the divine. Yeah, the divine. Turn it over to the divine. Lapis Lazuli. Make a decision, right? Make the decision. Shungite. Detox your life. Mm -hmm. Right? out those emotions become reborn bloodstone get up and get moving get moving make the decision okay get rid of the old negative limiting beliefs detox yourself that you can grow healthy and be abundant and have a healthy relationship with your twin. I peace in and out and all things in between. Why have we created a collective habit to say only rest in peace? Hmm, it's about the death card, right? Rest in peace. What if we activate peace everywhere all right activate your peace where is she <laughs> she's hiding right here activate your peace share in peace relate in peace debate in peace debating right balance 
connected peace, make love in peace, create in peace, and even disagree in peace. When you add peace to the foundation of all aspects of your life, life becomes peaceful. Do your part and help the world one piece at a time. Peace in and out and all things in between. I smile because I am in love. I smile because I am of love. This is a reminder that you are vibrant, delicious, and beloved heartbeat of the world. Your unpredicted beauty and exuberant soul twinkles so bright that it lights up all 79 of Jupiter's moons. Wow. Your smile is so super fragilistic, explanotious, <laughs> that all the planets turn into puddles of bright red blush every time you flash your icy whites. Right, we got a lot of those colors here too. Right. The trumpets sound. Here we get a flute. The confetti explodes. The cosmos of love blow a kiss. Not only are you in love, but you are of love too. You always will be. To infinity and beyond, the universe is wet for you. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of looks like a, uh, a JJ as well. <laughs> All right. The universe. It's beautiful. Selenite, spiritual awakening. I am a spiritual warrior of the light. Melachite, healing. I am healing machine manifesting miracles. Yep. And Shatakite, teacher. I have the divine wisdom of the universe within me and I openly share it with the world. Right. You openly share it with the world. Amazonite. Life purpose. I am fully aligned to the living my life's purpose. Right. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Well, that was definitely a love reading for sure. Okay, they are coming towards you in love. Okay. What did I say? We were in timing here. This is the Queen of Swords. It's not really a timing card. Let's see, what is the divine timing here? It's fast movement. Three of Wands. Definitely fast movement. So that's a uh, three days. Within three days, right? Valentine's Day is coming up. And uh, let's see. In about three days. So this is definitely your Valentine love reading here. Your twin flame is coming towards you to ask you to marry them. Happy Valentine's Day. Beautiful. All right, thank you for being here. I thank our angels for guiding us for our best good and for the good of other, others. And 
if you found this information to be helpful. Please share with others, like, subscribe, and share to help me build my site. Okay, thank you for being here with me. And have a wonderful Valentine's Day, as I know you will.